closure. So yeah, last night, my post about our team call, um, I shared with you guys, like, it has been a struggle lately. And y'all know that y'all know, like, the majority of what I've been struggling with. But like, I'm sitting in my closet, I'm in like, the reason I'm in my closet is because my office doesn't currently have lights in it. So I can't go downstairs and use my office. And my kids are still screaming about what a bad mom I am <laughs> because I'm making them go to sleep when they want to play. And so I could lock my bedroom door and then lock my bathroom door and then lock my closet door. <laughs> so there's no way they can get in here or hear me because I have that many doors between us, even though we're on the same floor of the house right now. So this is what we do when, when we're mompreneurs, <laughs> like we make shit happen. <laughs> but, oh man, you guys, it would have been so easy just to be like, guys, I can't do this tonight. And I thought about it and I actually started texting Christy saying, can you please do tonight's call? Because I knew she could probably throw something together about coach basics at the last minute. I didn't feel right asking Sarah because Rudy's in town. I was like, no, I can't just pass this off on someone. So I'm here. I'm putting my game face on and I'm doing it. Um, but anyway, so I, I'm sharing that because that's, that's back to basics. Like that is like, it would be so easy just to be like, screw it. Let's just put it off another week. Let's just have another emotional breakdown. Let's just feel like a failure because we don't have our UPF group set up or we, I haven't even purchased UPF. Like here I am, you know, coach and haven't even purchased it yet. And I'm supposed to be running a group on it. And like, you know, it'd just be so easy to start beating ourselves up over all this little stuff. And I started doing that today and I started doing it yesterday. Hence the reason why I made that post in the team page about how, you know, there's all these things. And like, I see people, and I don't, I don't, I'm not like trying to guilt anybody or blame anybody. Like I see it and I get it. And Melissa was telling me, you know, there, people, everyone's got stuff going on right now. It's not necessarily that you're doing something or not doing something. It's that everyone's got something. And so I, I thought, you know, what better time for us all to just like rein it back in and f remind ourselves why we do what we do and how we do what we do, even when it gets hard. And how, yes, these launches that Beachbody puts on and these new products that we promote. Raise your hand, by the way, if you have not tried Fruit Punch Energize. Thank you. That makes me feel a whole lot less guilty because I haven't tried it either. <laughs> because number one, I, I didn't have the extra money for a little while. I bought a house. But number two, like I like, I like what I like and I don't feel like I need to try it if I like what I like. But anyway just haven't sat down and had the time to, to make the purchase. Um, but just know, like understand that if you're the girl that hasn't purchased fruit energize yet, it's okay. Like Neither have I, if you're the girl that hasn't purchased UPF yet, it's okay. Neither have I, if you're the girl who still doesn't know if you're going to, um, do the certification, it's okay. I don't know if I'm going to do the certification. I can tell you that I haven't purchased UPF right now because I knew if I bought it, I wouldn't actually have the time to sit down and do it because I've been doing nothing but painting, unpacking, organizing, entertaining, and living my life right now. And it, that has taken 125% of my focus. So I knew if I added one more thing to my plate, all it would do is create anxiety for me, which is something I'm trying very hard to avoid in my life right now. So I'm sharing these things with you because yes, we have all these incredible things happening. We have UPF, we have the new energize, we have, you know, all these like 21 day fix is going to hit us again. And, um, you know, maybe you haven't even shared about that yet. Melissa and I were talking about that today. Neither one of us has really shared about it yet. I've never even done 21 day fix. I've, I love 21 day fix extreme. It was one of my soulmate workouts, but never even did the original. I jumped right to 21 day fix extreme. Like, so I'm kind of floundering. How do I share this? The, the thing is we're all, we're all there. We're all floundering. Maybe you never did the program. Maybe you, you know, you joined when it was a way old program. Maybe you're a coach that started three months ago and you've never even heard of 21 day fix. All you know about is the containers or maybe, you know, I don't know. There's all these things that we have going on in our lives that prevent us from being on top of it 
every single time something new comes along. And the glory of the business is we don't have to be on top of it every single time something new comes along. Chances are someone like Anna and Linnea are going to know what they're talking about in terms of UPF. So they're going to share the knowledge with us, even though some of us don't know what we're, what we're talking about. Chances are someone like Sarah, who knows a ton of the benefits of Shakeology and all that great stuff, is going to be able to share that knowledge with us so that we don't have to go do the research and take the time to do that ourselves. Like th that's the whole purpose of being a team. And so when I share things in the team page about why, how I'm struggling, I'm not sharing them to be a pity party. Like, trust me, I do enough of that for myself on my own. But what I'm sharing them is to show you that like, sometimes I feel like people have me up here. Like they're like, Oh, Lindsay's got it all together and she knows what she's doing. And I don't like, I, I have done a whole lot of nothing in, in, as far as how I feel with UPF and 21 Day Fix and all that right now. So yes, I don't feel ready for tomorrow, but I'm, I'm going to try to get there. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to throw in the towel, even though that feels like it would be easier. Um, so I wanted to talk about that and, and share like the reason why I, I'm so raw and honest about how I'm feeling, like feeling like a failure and stuff is because I know some of you feel that way. And you may feel that way because you didn't make the purchase or you may feel that way because you haven't worked out in a week or you may feel that way because you haven't sold a challenge pack yet or I don't know. I don't know what, why you might feel that way. Maybe you, you screamed at your kids today too and you feel like a failure. I popped my son for the first time today and I feel awful. Um, but like, those are, those are the things that, you know, we're all dealing with. And so I share it because I want you to understand that we all are, are dealing with it. No matter how long we've been coaching, no matter how much it looks like we have like these incredible pictures on social media or how happy we look or anything, we've all got stuff. And so instead of giving ourselves, beating ourselves up and giving ourselves a hard time about all the new things that we're not right on top of. And we don't, you know, just because you don't have all the answers about UPF right now, doesn't mean that you can't still do the basics and be a successful coach. So I have done nothing with those things I was just telling you about this month, but I hit success club six in the first week of the month. The reason why is only because I was doing the conversations and stuff. I have done nothing with the new the new stuff that's come out, which I know is going to bite me in the butt. So now it's time for me to go back and start picking that stuff up. But because I stuck with the basics, even when God guys, you know, stuff has been so hard, but I've just been still doing it, doing it, doing it. And, um, still was able to hit those minimum baseline goals because of the basics. So it's really, really important that we get back to the basics tonight. Yes. Use the launches, use the new products, use all the glitz and glam and carrots and all that fun stuff to you know, help your business along and to make maybe boost your business in this mo moment or have a little bit more momentum than you're used to. or But don't necessarily feel like because you haven't pushed UPF the way other people have pushed UPF or because you haven't pushed 21 Day Fix or whatever the way other people have, you haven't promoted it enough or whatever, don't feel like you're not doing a good job. If you're still showing up and inspiring and sharing and having conversations and connecting with people, it doesn't matter whether or not you're promoting the newest thing because the newest thing is just the newest thing. We have been a company for a long, long time. We are going to be a company for a long, long time, regardless of whether or not UPF is an incredible hit or a terrible blow, which I don't foresee that happening, but you know, it doesn't really matter where UPF lands because beach body is so much more than UPF. So don't get yourself all in a tizzy. If you don't feel like you've done what you were supposed to do or what somebody else did with this program. Also don't allow yourself to feel not for one second that you can't start tonight when we get off this call. Um, don't think for one second that you can't go back and find somebody's 21 day fix or 21 day fix extreme, um, testimony or transformation pictures and share them on Tuesday. Yeah. You, know, you know, it just because you haven't shared it yet doesn't mean you can't share it now. So I just wanted to throw that out there, um, before we do any shout outs or anything like that, because I want people to understand, um, where this call is coming from. But I also want you to understand that like 
when we share things in the team page, it's not, per, it's, it is personal, but it's not a personal attack or anything like a pity party or anything like that. It's us coming to our safe zone. You guys, for the longest time, were the only people I talked to about anything that I was going through with my divorce because I knew it was safe to go in that group and talk about it and share it and just have someone love me and just get it out. And that's, that's, what, that's what our team page is for. Go in and share. And it, it can be about business or it can be personal. It can be about your own fitness, your own nutrition, whatever. Our team is a community. It's a family. It is not just a business. And that has been the sole foundation of grit and grace ever since we got started. We have never been a business. We have been a family. And then the business is just like a bonus. Like I would, if I stopped getting a paycheck, I would still keep our team page open because I would miss you. Like if Beachbody closed down, I'd keep team grit and grace open because I want you in my life. I don't, I mean, I love Beachbody, but I want, I love you more. You know what I'm saying? So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind in regards to our team page because our team page has been quiet lately. And I think it's because so many of us are starting to feel like business, 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 business. And I'm failing because I'm not doing this. And I'm failing because I'm not doing that. And it's just not the case. You are so much more than your business. And that's what our team is built on. Um, so I'm going to stop talking long enough for anyone who wants to unmute themselves and do a shout out. And then we'll kind of just go into the call and talk a little bit more about basics. Um, so <laughs> I want to shout out Linnea because I am so super impressed by that yoga move that you tried to do. <laughs> and I know you said it scared you yourself and you kind of like took back, but I am super impressed by that. And from someone who can't even do a cartwheel, I think that's pretty awesome. So sorry for the kids screaming in the background, but way to go, Linnea. You're like superwoman to me. <laughs> I was just reading the comments. Linnea, is that something on your Facebook or Instagram? It, I think I put it on both. Um, it's the, it's from, oh gosh, when did I post it? Wednesday, maybe? Was it when you were wearing their fancy pants that I commented on? Yes. The okay, green one? I need to go back, I think, yeah. I think, yeah, I think so. Anyone else have a shout out? All right, I'm gonna change it to speaker view and we'll get started. So just to reiterate what I was saying, you know, we have, Beachbody does an amazing job of setting us up for success and constantly keeping things going because it's very easy, especially in today's society to, want the newest glitz, glam, you know, fast fix, all that stuff. And Beachbody has just never been one of those companies that focuses on any of that. And so one of the things they've started really channeling a lot of their energy and attention into formulating for us is new programs with a lot of FOMO and a lot of pizzazz and, and things that people are going to need to purchase so that we can continue to get our volume that we need in order to make an income and that we can continuously be adding new things, new products into our um, repertoire so that people aren't just getting beach body on demand and then renewing it every year because we saw a huge drop in volume when we went, when we went digital that year. And so Beachbody has done a really, really good job of trying to come out with these huge launches, you know? And so then we've moved into doing coach test groups and everybody can be in a coach test group as long as they're signed up. And everybody gets to do a celebrity, get a live with a celebrity trainer and everybody gets to do this and this and this. And it's super exciting and super awesome. But the way things have been launching lately, there's so many things happening at the same time that it is extremely overwhelming, particularly for those of us who are also moms or working full time or, you know, anything. And if, if you're not just doing Beachbody, then it is very, very hard to stay on top of it. And so 
I, w- I want us to, to get excited about these new things and I want us to use them to boost our business and to gain momentum and to get new people excited or to get old people who have kind of fallen off the wagon reinvested in what they want to be doing. Um, but I also want us to remember that the baseline of our business is not on what's new and flashy and salesy and gimmicky because we have a huge tendency when we have these big launches happening. I don't know if if you notice, but our, our posts tend, at least mine tend to start feeling more forced or more salesy, less about like, this is how this has changed my life and more about like, look at how I put all these containers on my plate and voila, here it's a fantastic recipe, which is not bad, but if you're doing that every day and people are used to hearing you talk about how, you know, you're overcome anxiety and you're going through a divorce and you're, you know, overcoming the stress of all that by exercising and taking care of yourself and having this community. And then all of a sudden you're like, look, we have this new group and you can be part of this. And if you tell me what color you like and how many pounds you want to lose, like that is going to start causing people to disconnect from what, from you and the whole baseline, the basic, most basic premise of our business that makes us different from any other business out there is the connection. And if you are not connecting with people, then yes, you might sell the crap out of UPF this month. You might end up having five people sign up this week for UPF and you might hit success club. But what does it mean for next month? Because UPF next month is going to be old news. I mean, it doesn't mean you, you can, you have to stop talking about it. It doesn't mean that, you know, you're not going to maybe sell another challenge pack of UPF next month. It doesn't mean that. But what I'm saying is if you focus all your attention and energy for 30 days on the one thing, the big launch, the new product, whatever it is, and then all of a sudden that product's not new anymore, it's not easy just to go back to what you were doing before. So if what you're doing is successful, then keep doing it. Don't feel like you have to just abandon what you've been doing because all of a sudden you've got this amazing new launch happening. And so you need to drill, 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 drill before it actually launches. That's not how it works. Um, Instead, you know, keep doing what you're doing and just infiltrate a couple little things about the new launch. For the first time today, I've been seeing Christy use this on her Instagram stories for weeks now. It was so cute. All the little containers, they like stack up and then they stack down and then they stack up. And I was like, Oh, I wonder how she got that. Well, I looked it up today and I used it. Fancy dancy. Um, it was the first time I've done it and UPF launches tomorrow. Um, but that's okay. You know, and now someone might see it and be like, what are those things? But it's not what I do on a normal basis because it's not what I normally show people on a normal basis. Like that's not what my followers like to see. Um, And so one of the things I want to say is no matter what, no matter where you are, fitness wise, business wise, product wise, any of it, keep in mind that the very basic foundation of our business is always connection. It is not about connecting a person with a product. It is about connecting a person with us. (laughs) And if you can't make that connection, then you are you're, you're just, you're going to, you might have a good week. You might have a good month. You might have high volume for, you know, the next, um, banner or whatever, but it's, it's not going to stay consistent. You're going to feel like you are constantly pouring water into the next bucket. And it, you know, it's just going to, you're, you're just going to feel very overworked and tired because you're constantly going to be trying to keep up with the Joneses in a way. So please keep in mind, Go back to basics. It is about connection. And the way we connect with people, you guys, is by sharing our story. And I get it. We've got dirty laundry and we don't want to air it. And there's so much dirty laundry that I have chosen not to air. And there, But then there are also personal things that I have chosen to air very carefully and, um, you know, in a very protected manner. And those things, you would be, I'm shocked at some of the women who have come to me and said, you, I, I, you're doing something I was never brave enough to do. Or tell, can you meet, meet for me for coffee so that you can tell me about how you decided to make that, you know, to do this and to do that. Um, those are connections. And those women are women who 
are going to end up needing our, our support, the things that we provide, not the color-coded containers, not the fruit punch energize, not the step that goes with T20. They're the women who need the foundation of what Team Grit and Grace is. And that is the connection. And so you always have to make sure you're focusing on that first. Um, the next thing I want to say about basics is, um, you know, you make those connections and it doesn't matter if you're making those connections and you're having people reach out to you because you shared that your child has dyslexia or if you shared that you hate your job and you need to find something else to do or if you shared that your husband just lost his job or if you shared that you like the color coded containers. It doesn't necessarily matter what you're sharing. And it may not even necessarily matter how you're sharing it. What matters then is that you, you get the connection flowing after the fact. You're not just hooking them up with something. You're providing them with the supports that they need. UPF is not going to be for everybody. Just because it's the newest, bestest thing doesn't mean you should force every single person you speak to this month into getting UPF. Um, I actually struggled with that a lot with Transform 20. Because when Transform 20 launched, I was so freaking excited for it because love Shanti and 20-minute workouts. However, I knew going in, Transform 20 was going to be high impact, and I knew that it was going to be tough. So for a very beginner, even though I knew they would have incredible results, I knew that if I forced them into a Transform 20 challenge pack, which is what I wanted to do so bad because you know you wanted to be in the challenge group and you wanted to be in this and, or the coach test group and all this stuff. Um, I knew it wasn't the right fit for a lot of the people I was speaking to that month, even though it was the big launch. So keep that in mind, make sure you're connecting, but then also make sure you're not just connecting someone with the new product or with the new launch, make sure you're connecting them with what they need, what's going to suit them. Um, right now it may, it may just be, um, beach body on demand. It may be UPF and no, no workouts. It may, you know, or maybe it's the whole shebang, but don't try to force everybody into a box because not everybody's going to fit in the box, regardless of what glittery, sparkly, amazing box Beachbody has provided us at the moment. Um, it's just not for everybody. If you know, you've got someone who, um, you know, has severe issues with their mindset in regards to food and they have a history maybe of, I don't know, restricting themselves and really like controlling their food intake and all this, then UPF may not be the way to go. 2B Mindset may be better for them, even though that's not the current launch, you know, because that's a mindset program. Um, and then I've, you've got other people, like I've got new moms who would love UPF, but don't necessarily have the time to sit down and go through the videos right now. You can have those conversations with them. Make sure you're catering to the person you're speaking to. So make sure you're connecting, make sure you are then taking that person into consideration. You're not just putting them in a box. And then I wanted to also share the biggest thing that I know we struggle with and I still struggle with it. I just shared with someone the other day, my three songs that are on my, my power playlist right now for when I do this, um, is the invite, you know, sending people that invite, just saying to them, thanks for showing me some love on that post yesterday about being a bad mom. Cause damn, did I feel like a bad mom? Um, you know, just little things like that can be hard to send, but if you don't send them, you can't make the connection. It doesn't matter what fancy graphics you're using. It doesn't matter what subtext you're putting on your Instagram stories. It doesn't matter how many polls you do. If you're doing polls and you're not actually messaging the people who are participating in the polls, you're wasting your time doing the polls, guys. Um, <laughs> stop wasting time being fancy if you're not going to actually benefit from being fancy. Um, I know for me, putting a whole bunch of hoity-toity stuff in my Instagram stories is just a waste of my time because I don't usually go back and, and mess with it. You know, if I do it, I do it once and I go back and I screenshot everything <laughs> to make sure I can message everybody because I know that's important. But if I did it every day, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go back and actually use the data. Um, and I know that just because of the teacher in me. But keep in mind that, you know, making the connection and then in, and getting people hooked up with what's going to be successful for them and then making sure that you're actually doing those things consistently is, is the real foundation of this business. 
yes, I, I do want you to plug into our UPF group. I do want you to go back and watch the call that Linnea and Anna did if you haven't watched it yet because there, it's important. This is an incredible program. I am not knocking it or discrediting it at all. I hope you're not taking it that way by me saying if you haven't properly prepped for it, you, you know, it's not a big deal. What I'm saying is stop beating yourself up. And guys, I'm saying this for myself to just tonight. I've been beating myself up and it's, it's going to be like an all the time thing, you know, like we're all going to have ups and downs and we're all going to have these times where we're feeling like on top of the freaking world. When it was transformed 20 time, I was like, we're the best team in the world. And now it's UPF time. And I'm like, I suck. You should all leave me. Like, that's just the way it is. And we'll, we'll bounce back again. And, um, I want you to understand that it's normal ebb and flow with business. It's normal ebb and flow with life. But if you truly focus and stay centered on the foundation of who we are as a team and who we are as a company, we are so much more than a product. We are so we're, we are just so much more. I mean, we are not just something people consume. And so it doesn't matter what, what the new package is. It doesn't matter what the new label looks like or the new flavor. What matters is what matters. And we all know what matters. That's why we're here. We're not here because of the color-coded containers. We're here for something more. So keep that in mind. If you feel like you um, do not have, yes, we are adding UPF packages to the flash sale. Um, Christy, I had thought about that actually when I started making the flash sale and I'm glad we pushed it back because it allowed me time to make new graphics. Um, there was also something I'm going to add fruit punch energize on there too. And there was one other thing that I think was going to be on special. So I'll, I'll double check it, but yes, we are going to update that. Um, but make sure that, you know, if you haven't talked about UPF yet, you don't have to come out and say ultimate portion fix, you don't have to come out and say, you know, five years ago, this program changed my life and here we are relaunching it. You don't have to say those things. Just start nonchalantly mentioning it again. Like when I did my meal prep today, I just posted that little um, graphic that I had seen Christy use and people are probably going to ask about that because they know what those, gra those color coded containers are now. A lot of them do. Um, another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to talk to the people who did 21 day fix and 21 day fix extreme with me the first couple times. Cause that, those were one of the, one of the newest programs that came out when I first started coaching. So I want to invite them to be part of this new bigger thing. Have I done it yet? No. Does it mean I can't just because it launches tomorrow? No. So stop thinking you've missed the ball. You haven't. Christy just said it's going to be on special at the beginning of the month next month. You can still sell it next month. Newsflash, you can still sell it in December. It's not going anywhere. It's just a launch right now. So it's exciting and it's, it's intended to create FOMO and excitement and get people really interested and excited about it. But it doesn't mean if you haven't talked about it yet that you've missed it. It's still going to be there. So let's stop focusing so much on the glitz and, and like the flashy stuff and really get back to the root of the business and what matters most and stop beating ourselves up if we don't feel like we're being on top of everything all the time. Um, I'm going to actually start incorporating into our team calls. So next week, I want to talk a little bit more about some of the basics of the packages that we have available, not just not UPF. I'm talking about like just some foundational things that I think are really important for us to understand as coaches, especially if we have new coaches. So if you have new coaches, I want you to be making sure that they're on the team calls. I want you to be making sure that they're getting some of these foundational things. I want, um, I'm going to ask Sarah when she's ready because I know Rudy's going to be in town. So whenever she's available again, um, to talk about Shakeology again, because I, I think, you know, yeah, we have UPF launching, but we have the creme de la creme and we've had the creme de la creme for years and it's called Shakeology. So just because we've got UPF launching doesn't mean we want to forget about the things that have been working for years um, because they're really good too. So I want to go back over like why, why Shakeology? Why not protein powder? Why this? Um, you know, and, and talk about some of the things that we can be sharing because most of us are drinking Shakeology every day. 
And we could be talking about that every day. That's a basic, that's a foundation. Um, so I'll stop there and I'll see if there's any questions. I saw that Lindsay had one to be mindset versus a container program specifically asked me for something to help. Yeah. So Lindsay has a customer who struggled with an eating disorder and would rather have done to be mindset than the portion control, because that does tend to bother people. You know, if you've struggled with counting calories and been really particular and specific for a long time, because you had, you know, I think I, Sarah, would you, is it safe to say that once you have an eating disorder, you kind of, it's almost like, I don't want to compare it to alcoholism, but kind of like you, this might be a struggle or there might be triggers for the rest of your life. Is that pretty fair? Okay. Um, so yeah, uh, you know, having these little color coded containers and getting really specific and restricting yourself and stuff might tend to be a trigger for someone who's struggled with that in the past. So to be mindset would definitely be the way to go. Um, Christy said the national wake up call tomorrow is Isabel, Darren and Carl. Are they talking about UPF Christy? Or are they just talking about like Shakeology and all the, all the awesome sauce, Do you know? I haven't seen the sign for Sorry, it. sorry. No, um, okay. They're talking about Shakeology tomorrow because yesterday was the 10th anniversary of it. Mm -hmm. So they're going to talk about um, any like additional ingredients they're added, adding to it, how, it's been, how it was formulated, how it was created, and all that good stuff. So. Awesome. It'll be all about the goodness of Shakeology. Yeah, awesome. Good deal. Um, Jackie had mentioned to me something that she wanted a team call on. I'm going to reach back out to her and get that information from her. But I also wanted to encourage you guys, if there's something that you feel like you need more on or that you could bring to the table, I know we had done for a while the um, team call signups and it seemed like people were dwindling with um, signing up. So if we want to like relaunch those maybe for April and have people start signing up again, I would love to do that because I would love, I feel like so many other people have so much to bring to the table too that I would rather not be the one hosting all the time because I, I loved learning from Anna and Linnea, especially because I didn't have any knowledge of what they were sharing. Um, but then hey, also, I wanted to say something real quick. Yeah. Yeah. I, I still have that stuff about the Instagram influencer that I had talked about. So I can still do that as a team call up, coming up. Perfect. 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 Maybe. I'll, I'll chat with you. I'll text you. Um, but if there's something that y'all are like really struggling with and we can get somebody in to do a call or somebody on our team, like if you come to me and say, I'm really struggling with this particular thing. And I know there's another coach on our team who's rocking that. Then I, if you share that with me, I can go to them and say, Hey, could you do a call on this? Because it would benefit us. Um, so don't hesitate. Like if there's something that you're struggling with and it's something that could benefit everybody. Like chances are, if you're struggling, somebody else out there is too. And that's why I'm encouraging you to use our team page that way. Like the reason why I came to you guys yesterday and got so like real and raw about feeling like such a failure again, was not to say, or have everyone say, Oh, we love you. Cause that's, I know you do. I don't, I, I know. And I do, I truly do know that, but I wanted you to hear, like, I, I have these same struggles. And so if I have them, chances are, if we have 180 people in our team page, then probably 150 of them have the same struggle, right? So just be open about it. And if you're willing to go in the team page and say, hey, I really struggle with getting my, like Jackie has said she really struggles with getting her 30 minutes of work done every day. So her and Kayla have started doing a 30 minute power hour every, every day or every week. I can't remember what she told me that they communicated that to each other. If they hadn't communicated that to each other, neither one of them would have known. And now they've both got a resource and a tool that they can use in order to crush it and overcome that together. So be open, be willing, bounce things out of this team page. This team page should be like revolving all the time. People in and out, you know, getting what they need, coming in and, and, seeking, and seeking help and just leaning on one another. That's what we're all about, it's that foundation. So if that is it, hey, Lindsay, yeah. I just want to say, let me share my camera real quick. Okay. Hey guys. <laughs> um, real quick. I just wanted to um, remind you all that we are doing um, this sneak peek into the Snoop group. 
is on the 27th. Um, so I just, I thought each week I would come in just to remind you all um, to start inviting to that. Um, you know, if you all have any feedback on how the event went, um, Rebecca and I have been talking about it and I just felt like we maybe needed more people, some more people in there. Um, it felt a little coach heavy to me. I'm not sure how you all felt, but you know, each month we're trying to revamp it and make it better and better. Um, Rebecca and I also talked about maybe adding a coach incentive um, you know, we haven't quite figured that out, but who doesn't love uh, little gifts in the mail? So we kind of thought about that as well. So I just kind of wanted to remind you all to keep on inviting to that. That's something else that you can in invite if you have challengers that have been really successful in their journey. Um, invite them to the opportunity. And again, that's the 27th. Put that on your calendar. And then Rebecca had said, and you may have just said this and I missed it. She said there's going to be an incentive for the coach who has the most people. Yeah, I did just okay. say that. Yes. Um, so we have thought about that. Yes. About offering a little incentive, a little gift bag of some sort that we were going to put together. So we haven't nailed out the details, but um, I kind of thought whoever had the most in there that we would put together like a little treat bag and a uh, little incentive and send that to um, the coach who got the most people in there. So, um, you know, it's a really big part of our business, as you all know. And, um, you know, I think a lot of times it's much easier to invite, you know, to, um, to join us on the fitness journey, but, you know, the coaching opportunity is amazing, as you all know. So, we just really want to get a lot of prospects in there. And, you know, I've even used just having people saying, hey, we have a new group. Actually, it's funny because that's how Mindy <laughs> got me into the group, into the coaching sneak peek. She's like, hey, I have a new group and you're really into fitness. Can you go into the group and check it out for me? And I was like, yeah, sure. <laughs> Here I am. <laughs> so it's just funny. Um, yeah, I, I chuckle about that because, um, yeah, she got me, you know, <laughs> so to speak. But, um, yeah, so if you all have any questions or feedback, whether it's positive or you want to give constructive feedback, I mean, we just want to work on each month improving the group and just making it better. So I'm all about getting feedback and ideas, but um, Rebecca and I have been trying to meet each month to kind of talk about it, see how things went the month prior, and then seeing what we can do to improve. So just let us know. Thank Thanks. you. You ladies are rocking that. Thank you. All righty.